Welcome back to Wonder with Will. This video is gonna be about a camping accessory that is for all you comfy campers out there. I purchased this product 12 months ago and I'm gonna tell you the honest truth about the quality of this product, along with the thing I like the most, the thing I like the least, and whether I would repurchase this product or not. So stay tuned for another episode of Wonder with Will. As you can imagine, I have camped a lot of different places. And depending on the time of the year or your location, biting insects can completely ruin a trip. This gazebo is a good solution to make sure that you are comfortable inside while all the bugs stay outside. So starting up, let's talk about the thing that I like the most. I don't know about you, but the thing that first appealed to me was the ease of setup. The fact that I could go from the bag to a full setup gazebo in a matter of about 90 seconds was a huge appeal to me. However, if it's your first time setting this thing up, it's not as easy as it looks. It kind of boggled my brain a little bit, but once you set it up a couple of times, you pretty much have the hang of it and it is super easy moving forward. On our first trip with this bad boy, I had the gazebo set up and a big thunderstorm was approaching. It had wind gusts of over 60 miles per hour. And being a first timer, I didn't realize what wind would do to this gazebo. Wind and the gazebo are not friends. A breeze in the gazebo can get along just fine, but 60 mile an hour winds are a different story. The great thing is the gazebo did not fly away the stakes actually held the gazebo to the ground. And the worst thing that happened was the gazebo collapsed in on itself. But my advice to you is if you decide to pick up this gazebo, make sure that you are weather aware. If you see a storm coming in, go ahead and make sure to take it down beforehand. What I like the least, don't let the other videos deceive you. This thing is a beast. At over 37 pounds and over 10 feet, this is a large piece of equipment. It's probably the biggest piece of equipment that I bring other than my camper. A lot of people simply cannot fit this gazebo in their vehicle. If you have a small car or a small SUV, there's a pretty high likelihood that this gazebo is not going to fit. I drive a Toyota Highlander, and the only way that this gazebo is able to fit in my vehicle is with one of the seats down. I really dislike how massive this piece of gear is. So keep that in mind before you drop your hard-earned cash on it. If you're a minimalist camper, this is not the right piece of equipment for you. If you're the kind of camper that likes to bring everything in the kitchen sink, then it may not be an issue. To be honest with you, the number one reason why I was considering purchasing the Gazelle Gazebo was to have a place for my small dog, Biddy. When I go camping, I don't wanna be inside the camper the whole time. I wanna be outside the camper enjoying the outdoors. But my small dog, Biddy, can't be off the leash. So I needed a solution that could actually form as like a barrier between her and other dogs or people. And it even offered as a way for me to keep her kennel out of the sun because it was under the shade of the gazebo. So now it's time for the final judgment. Would I repurchase this gazebo again? Yes and no, let me explain. My family and I just haven't used it as much as I originally thought we would. So we haven't gotten as much value out of it as I originally thought. However, when we have used it, I am super glad that we have it. You really cannot beat having an extra room that pops up in a matter of a couple minutes. So let me tell you, if you're interested in a legitimate solution that will help to keep you and your family out of the rain and out of the elements, while protecting you from those biting, pesky little insects, this could be the perfect solution for you. But do you have the room and are you going to carry this massive piece of equipment or is it just too big? That's a question only you can answer.